Okay, here we are today with um, one of uh, the D-Tigers player here in Lagos to represent Motherland at the Pre-Olympics qualifiers. So we're going to be meeting him straight away. So, can we meet you? My name is uh, Godwin Omenaka Ikene. I am here to represent Nigerian uh, basketball competition. Okay, so um, tell us more about yourself, your, bio, your background. Ah, uh, okay. Like I said before, my name is Amelika Godwin Ekene. I'm born and raised in Yola, Adamawa State. But I'm originally from Anambra State, which is my state of origin. Okay. I'm from Mimewi South, local government. And okay. uh, I'm happy to be here to represent the country. Okay, that's amazing. That's amazing. So, um, you want to share with us your um, basketball experience? Uh, basically, I'm going to say, uh, Basketball wasn't my first love. Okay. Uh, I did multiple sports. I did gymnastics. I played soccer, wow. which I was good at. Okay. And uh, unfortunately, someone brought me in and introduced me to basketball, which was like weird at the first time. But with time, I started to like learn to love it, and uh, and I'm so glad that you have gotten me. Gotten me the giving me the exposure that I'm, I'm needed or I needed. Yeah. Oh, we thank you for that. So, tell us um, your um, history playing basketball here in Nigeria before you went um, professional abroad. Wow, I'm gonna say it's not a long story, but it's a very short one, which was part of experience. I started in. Uh, First of all, I started like basic training in Yola Adamo State, and then uh, I was called by uh, by a coach to come represent uh, Benway Braves. That was during uh, 2013, 2013, 2014-ish, and uh, I played in uh, I played for Benway Braves at um, what's tonight? At uh, Mag the Ball. Mag the Ball. At Mag the Ball in Ben Ojo Ball. Yeah. And uh, from there, I was I got invited to Abuja. And I did, I think, a year and eight months in Abuja until a coach saw me, liked me, and then introduced me to one of his colleagues. Then, and uh, that we have it. Oh, that's amazing. So, from then on, how did you go? perfectly fine but at first you know in every struggle in life that is always you know in every step that you take there is always a struggle or something yeah. 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 it was it was quite okay i'm not gonna say it was hard but at the same time there are something that you have to you know take into heart that uh, you are not home you know you're not in nigeria your parents are not here you have to discipline yourself by yourself you know and aside from that, I don't think there's anything like hard. You just have to do it. Good, good. So, what teams have you played for? I played for. Uh, I started in academy, right? Gebar Academy, two years. From there, I moved to Debrecen. That's a university team. I played for them for two years, and then I signed in Alba for Hervar. I played for them for two years and then I went to Carmen, which is the recent season that I just finished. And I played for them for one year and I'm now moving to France. Okay, what team in France? Uh, I'll be playing for JL Borg. Okay. Yeah. What part of France is that? It's, I'm gonna say it's uh, southern, okay. southern part because okay. it's on the down, yeah. Okay, okay, that's amazing, that's amazing. So, is this your first time with the national team? No, no, no. This is actually my second uh, color in the national team. My first was last year, August. Yeah, it was a bit uh, a rush, rush thing, but. At what it, tournament was that? That was uh, Afro Basket. Okay. Afro Basket that we played in, uh, in Cote d'Ivoire, Abidjan. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's amazing. That's amazing. So, this is the second time you. Being this, called yeah, this is my second call up, yes. Okay, so what should we expect from you at this tournament? For me, I always been like someone who don't put uh, 
anything aside from the except for the tournament itself, you know. I'm gonna come out and be me, play me, do do me. Yeah. That's it, just do you, just play yes. your game. Just feel, just be in the rhythm and everything, yes. Yeah. Oh that's amazing. So what should we um, be expecting from from you in the future with regards to um, basketball, um, camps, you know, like what yes, you know, yes. doing the summer, giving mm -hmm. back to the society and all that. Yeah, you know, there is always time for everything. You know, first of all, first of all, I need to see where I'm standing first, like where I'm at. There's some certain level that I have, to, like I would like to reach, and then I will give back to the community. And that's for sure. Like we cannot leave and just come back empty and then I have to, you know, do something for the for the people back home. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And Absolutely. I'm already in talks with uh, with some people back in Adamawa State, like my colleagues that are working with the MBBF. Uh, uh, sorry, not MBBF. I would say like Fever, a referee, something like you know, trying to organize camps. I tried to do a camp this year, but didn't do to some issues I was like uh, let me just postpone it maybe I'm gonna move it to the next two years so which I will be home like you know, to be there to see the that's amazing so what do you want to say to your fans out there well to my fans if you know me <laughs> I wanna say thank you all like come support the D Tigers we're playing a tournament this coming Monday Come support the V Tigers wherever you are, DSTV, where you're watching, ESPN, whatever, Super Sport, Go TV. Come support the D Tigers, and we are actually ready to receive you all. And we pledge for your support. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much. One love, bro. One love.